Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Goodies by Lexi and I am here with a, a wig review and I'm always excited to do wig reviews. This particular wig is a human hair wig. Now I wear both synthetic and human. Human hair wigs, are, of course, are more expensive. Um, but though generally, if you do your research, a human hair wig can last you up to a year. So you definitely get your money's worth. This particular wig is by a company called Unice or Eunice, whichever, I'm not sure. But this is what it comes in, cute little bag. And I'm gonna show you the inside of the wig and all the specs. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more about what we're gonna do. So, it comes with this little bag, has some goodies in there, obviously, and the wig itself. So, let me show you what's in this cute little bag really quickly. You know, usually they'll send you a couple of things. It just depends on the company. They send you a wig cap. That's not unusual to get a wig cap when you get a human hair wig. That's not uncommon. Good thing uh, I can always use wig caps. Look, I've got lipstick like everywhere. I love red, but it's messy. Oh, cute. Okay, now this is this helps you um, get your edges, you know, slick them down very well. You're able to brush them or comb them, whichever you want to do. And they sent some, oh, they sent some lashes. And these are a little much for me. I like the dramatic, but not this much. I'll be giving those to my daughter. She loves big lashes. And this is unusual. Okay, they sent a pair of earrings. That's very unusual. So, okay, thank you. And of course the wig comes in the plastic bag here. So let's take it out. I wanted to do something with color. Um, I like a regular one or one B, which is black, off black, brown, but I wanted to do a little color. So this is the color of the wig. She comes, of course, with the standard net. She's looking a little frizzy, but let me tell you, that's not their fault. My daughter has looked at this wig and she went ahead and did a little bit of plucking. So I gotta be honest, I don't wanna like bring it out like they sent it to me like that, but she's done a little bit of plucking and we'll talk a little bit more about that. This came inside the wig. We'll talk a little bit more about plucking and things of that nature. But this is her. I'll put all the details below. As I mentioned, she's human hair. And there is gonna be some shedding because as I said, my daughter went through and plucked the hairline a bit. But here's the inside of the wig. Now we have not plucked, not plucked, we have not bleach the knots yet. And I will explain a little bit more about that. But there's a comb here at the two sides, which is typical. And it has a comb in the back, which is also typical. And the adjustable straps. I think this is a 20 inch. I can't swear to that. Let me show you what the lace looks like. It is a 13 by four, so you get full lace from ear to ear, which is what I like. I don't like like the little bit of lace or, you know, the tea light. I don't like to be stuck with my part having to be where the lace is a lot of times in the middle. I like to have lace from ear to ear, so I can put my part anywhere I choose, and that's probably what I'm gonna do. Now, let me just say, <laughs> wigs in general, um, synthetic especially, you can put them on and just go. You cut the lace, put them on, you go. Human hair wigs, and even synthetic sometimes, if you want it to look right, you're gonna have to do some work on it. And my daughter is just that picky. I, on the other hand, I'm like, meh, you know, I just don't have a lot of time. The older you get, the less time you wanna spend on stuff. 
I'm busy, but she's like, no mom. So I'm going to teach you how to bleach the knots. And what I mean by bleaching the knots is when you have a wig and it's lace, a lot of the times when you put it on, you can tell that it's a wig because you can see little knots in the lace, like here. If you bleach the knots, you won't see those. And you'll put a wig cap underneath. It'll look a lot more realistic. Now, it's not that you don't want anybody to know you have a wig on. I personally don't care. Most people know I wear wigs, clips, pieces, extensions. Most people know that. But if I'm gonna put it on, I would like it to look realistic. And that's the point. Now, if you don't wanna go through bleaching knots and plucking, I totally get it, I understand. I have wigs where I don't have to do that much work and it requires a lot of research. But let me just tell you, it is worth it. Um, if you know, you're know you in a hurry and you've got to get somewhere, throw your hair in a couple of braids, throw a wig cap on, a great wig and be out the door. And it really does help with far as convenience. So when I come back, you're gonna see clips of me bleaching the wig and then once I put my wig cap on and get the wig installed I'll come back so you can see what it looks like once I you know get everything done but this is once again it's very soft very soft and I always smell you know I don't know I don't want it to have any odor and sometimes they do sometimes they smell like chemicals, but this one does not. And as I said, very, very soft. So I'm already seven, seven minutes in the video. I can sit in here and talk to you guys about wigs all day. Um, no one has time for that. So anyway, when I come back, you'll see me bleaching the wig. And then after that, you'll see me after I've installed it. So thank you for joining me and hold on for the results of this wig. Hello and welcome back. Okay, I'm always gonna keep it real with my subscribers. I am a beginner when it comes to bleaching knots on a wig. The reason that is so important is so you don't have all these little knots showing in the lace area when it's 13 by 13, which is ear to ear. That's really important. Um, 13, I'm sorry, 13 inches ear to ear. And then it's either four or six inches when it comes to the parting lace this way. So here's the thing. I was going to show you some video of me dyeing the wig, but I dyed it and I went past the hairline of the lace and it actually bleached some of the hair if it had been a black wig, it would look atrocious right now. Thank God it already had blonde streaks in it. So it wasn't so noticeable. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I got it on the lace here. So these little parts of this high blonde is because it got on the hair. The bleach got on the hair. So let me show you what bleach I use. This is how you bleach your knots. When you get your human hair wig, you want to bleach the knots, which means you want to bleach all the lace. And you really should stop at the hairline. So let me show you what I use. You need this right here or something like this. And this is basically like, I guess they would call it like the developer. And you want to use something like this. And you want to purchase a bag of bleach. This is the powdered form and a lot of people use this. So you mix it together, this with the developer and you want it to have a consistency of like icing on a cake. You don't want it too thick. You don't want it too runny. And you just put the consistency of both together 
on the lace area. And it really helps with keeping these knots from looking so fake. The lace from looking so fake. That is what you want to accomplish. Now, if you want to... With human hair wigs, I never really glued down synthetic wigs because it is best that you don't sleep in a synthetic wig. They are not really equipped for that. They're not going to last you a long time. Even if you put, um, you know, like a satin bonnet on, it's just not a good idea. So when it comes to human hair, it's really like, it's human hair. You can treat it like human hair. Those I will glue down. I will sleep in with no problem. But if you want something temporary and you don't want to glue it down for a long period of time, use this got to be, and this is their free spray. And you just spray it around your perimeter right through here. You put your lace on. You make sure you push it down. And then you take a blow dryer and just let it dry. And this will last you pretty much all day. This is not what I call a permanent for like a few days of sleeping in. This is not what you need. But if you'd want something where you can take it off at night, it really does save your wig as far as the wear and tear, whether it's synthetic or whether it's human. Now, I glued down my human hair wigs and this is what you want to use when you want to glue your human hair down. It is called Ghost Bond. And you put this on the perimeter. I just dropped it on the floor. You put it on the perimeter of your forehead. And you match your wig up to that perimeter. And you just push it down. You put a tie on it to hold it in place. And you put that on there for five or 10 minutes. And when I tell you that this wig is not going to move, honey, this wig is not going to move. That will hold your wig. You can sleep in it. You can take a shower in it, whatever. It will hold it for at least three, four days. For some people, a week. It just depends on how much you're sweating and what your activities are. So... I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys the video as far as bleaching uh, the knots, but in another video, I will make up for this. In the meantime, this is what it looks like. I normally would not curl it, uh, but because I was doing a video, I was like, girl, you got to represent. Um, the great thing about human hair is you can spray it with some mix, get you a spray bottle, mix some water and conditioner together, and you can spray it, you know, rub it in, and it will be literally like, a, kind of like a beach wave. And I'm just telling you, human hair just give you so many options. But human hair, of course, is more expensive than the synthetic. So I just want you guys to see the lace. The whole point is bleaching the knots that your lace should blend in with your head. And of course, it's, mine is not perfect. And that's okay. That's okay. I mean, I'm not trying to be out here like, oh no, I don't have a wig on or extensions on. It's not that important to me. I like my part on the side, which is pretty much what I did. It's not really defined right now because I've been moving around and doing other stuff. But you can always put some powder in your part to match your skin tone. And, you know, that helps a lot. So I hope this gave you guys just a little bit of knowledge about human hair wigs. It's just nice to have. It's so, like flowy and just, you know, I love it. It feels good and you can do different styles with it. I just love it. It gives me freedom and that's what I like. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. 
Give your girl support. I am starting all over again. I used to do this back in the day, but I'm starting all over again. So make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like my video. And please, I would love for people to comment. I've not been getting any comments and that's okay. But I would love for you to comment and tell me what it is that you need to know about wigs, anything you're curious about, anything that you might want to suggest. If you have some tricks of the trade that I don't know about, please share. And I'm just wishing everybody just health, love, peace. Just send in the love. Thank you so much for supporting me. As I have said before, I am Goodies by Lexi. And thank you for watching my video.